Hello world, Noah here, and welcome to the lab component of the first lesson. In this lab, we're going to get our computers all set up to be coding in Python so that we can begin writing some Python code in the next lesson. So you can do this on any computer, be it a Mac, a PC, or a Linux computer. I'm going to be doing all of this on my Mac, uh, but the instructions and everything we do should be pretty much the same. Uh, so first you'll want to go ahead and open up uh, Safari or your favorite web browser and we're going to go to uh, python.org then we'll go over to downloads and we want to download the latest version of Python at this time it's 3.7.2 uh, if the version that you're downloading is newer than that if you're watching this video sometime in the future that's totally fine just make sure that you have a, a late-ish version of Python. I wouldn't use anything earlier than Python 3.6, uh, and I definitely would not use Python uh, 2 of any sort. So we'll go ahead and download this version of Python 3.7.2 right here, and when it's finished, we'll open it up. And, you know, I think this should be pretty straightforward. The installation process might look a little bit different, uh, you know, on your different platform but the one thing that i want to point out is that we want to install uh, idle the python ide the built-in python ide uh, for this series i'm going to be writing all of the python code in idle um, if you already know some python or you have a different editor set up like vs code or atom or sublime or pycharm or anything you can feel free to use it but if you're a beginner um, you know, or if you want to follow along with the series, you want to make sure uh, to be using idle. I found, um, you know, when I was working with the students in the class of my university, that most of them were using idle. That's what the professors encouraged them to use, and it ended up working out very well. So again, this is part of the standard install, and so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, but just in case, you know, I'm going to be using idle. And so if you want to follow along, I'd recommend that you use idle as well. So we'll give this just a second to install. And there we go, nice and quick. So for me, this went into my applications folder. And here's Python 3.7 right there. Uh, if you're on Windows, it might go into your program files or, or somewhere else. Uh, but let's close out of that and let's close uh, out of the Python website, and here is our nice Python 3.7 right here. And so we'll go ahead and open up Idle. Idle is basically going to be uh, the tool, the program that we use to write our Python code. And so you'll become very good friends with Idle as we work through this course material. Now when you first open up Idle, and let me sort of bring it up to the middle, when you first work with Idle, you'll sort of get this pop-up right here. It'll first tell you your Python version, so that's how you can tell which one you're using. Um, but then you get these three, um, these three, you know, signs right there, and it's waiting for you to type something in. This is the, whoops, this is the interactive mode of Python, and I'm going to uh, put out an aside video talking about the difference between interactive mode and file mode. Uh, basically, interactive mode is good for quickly testing things, but when you're writing actual code, you're going to want to do it in file mode. And so what you'll want to do is go to File, and then New File, and you'll get this pop-up right here. So the essential idea is that we're going to write all of our code in this file over here, and then when we go to run that code, it's going to run it over here in this window. And if that's a little confusing, it will make more sense soon. Uh, the one thing that I do want to do is to just make the font bigger. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make the size. I'm going to make it really big, and I don't recommend that you guys do this, um, but it's just going to make it easier for me to sort of make sure you guys can see everything. So let's just do that, and that's good. So we got some really big windows right here. So we're all ready to, to go here. Let's just make this a little smaller. Okay, 
So again, here's where we're going to go ahead and write all of our code and here's where we're going to run it. So just to make sure that everything's working, and I mean, we can tell everything's working because Python's running, but let's just write our first little bit of code. I'm gonna show you two really easy things here um, and then you know we'll start to learn some actual code soon. So the first thing that you should know is how to write a comment in your code. Basically a comment uh, will let you leave yourself a little message um, that the compiler or interpreter in this case will ignore. So basically you can write yourself a message, whatever you wanna say, and Python will ignore that message. It's really useful if you have you know, a chunk of code that might be a little confusing and you wanna remember what it does, or if you wanna leave yourself a note, you know, reminder you have to go fix this thing later, etc., etc. But essentially the way you do it is you use the pound sign, and then after that you can write whatever you want. And you'll notice that it's highlighted in orange. That's how you know it's a comment. Um, you can see otherwise it's highlighted in black and the is being an orange is, is something else. But essentially black is just your, your normal code, but orange means it's a comment. And so you can write whatever you want uh, there. So you can write yourself a message. So what we'll do, what we're gonna do is we're going to do the thing that every programmer does as their first program. We're going to write a hello world program. So we're going to say, we're just gonna write ourselves a comment. This is a hello world program. Not the most useful comment in the world, but you get the idea. You can leave yourself messages. So what is this program going to do? It's going to display the message, hello world, nice and simple. And to do this in Python, we're going to use the print function. So you're gonna write the word print, and you'll notice that it turns purple. I don't know if it's hard to see on my recording, um, but you should be able to see it on your own computer. It'll turn purple. That's because print is, is a special word in Python. And, and so basically idle recognizes that and says, okay, I'm gonna make this purple then. So we're gonna write print and we're going to write some parentheses like that. And then inside of the parentheses, we're going to write quotation marks. You can use double quotation marks or single quotation marks. And then inside of there, you're going to write yourself a message. I'm going to write the message, hello world, just like that. I'm not gonna explain exactly what this code is doing or, or why it works, because we're going to get to that in future videos. But for now, just take my word for it. Here's the hello world code, nice and simple. To actually run it, we'll go ahead and go to run, and then run module, which is also F5. So if you have a keyboard um, you know, with function keys, you can press F5 to run it. The first time you do it, it's gonna say you have to save this code to a file before you can run it. So yes, let's save it to a file. And I'm gonna just stick it on the desktop and I'm just gonna call it hello world and it'll add the .py extension for you. So, okay, what just happened? Let's go take a look. Well, first on our desktop, we have this file called hello world.py. If we look at it, we can see, you know, this is our, our Python code right there. It's good. Well, when we hit run, it says, okay, it's gonna run this file, this hello world.py on my desktop. And what did it do? It said, hello world. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. It's exactly what we told it to. We said, print out the message, display the message, hello world. And that's what it did. And um, you can, of course, change the message. So if I said something like, hello, YouTube, um, you know, I'm going to again run it. And it's gonna say you have to save it because we just edited it, we wanna save it. So I'm gonna run it again. And now my message changed, you know, it said it restarted the program, ran the program again. And this time the message was hello YouTube, which is what it said here. So you can play around with it. You can write whatever you want within these single quotation marks. Um, you could also make them double quotation marks, which may not be a bad idea. So you can make them single or double quotes. It won't make a difference. If I run this again, it does the exact same thing, right? But basically, you know, not terribly exciting, but at the same time, it is actually kind of exciting because you just wrote your first computer program, uh, which is pretty cool. So in the next uh, lesson, we're going to actually start learning some Python code, and then we're gonna start writing some Python code soon. But uh, basically, you're all set up now, you're all ready to go, and we verified that everything works. So that's all for this one. See you guys in the next one.